In the picturesque town of Crestwood, where cobblestone streets wound their way through quaint cottages and the air was filled with the sweet fragrance of blooming flowers, lived a young inventor named Amelia Granger. From a young age, her eyes sparkled with dreams of creating something that would leave an indelible mark on the world. Amelia's workshop, a cozy space nestled at the end of her family's garden, became her sanctuary. It was cluttered with gadgets, tools, and a perpetual whirlwind of ideas. Her fascination with machines led her to dream big. She envisioned creating a device that could harness renewable energy to bring light to the darkest corners of the world. For months, Amelia toiled away in secrecy, her excitement growing with every gear she meticulously placed. Finally, the day arrived when she decided to unveil her creation to the townsfolk. The entire town gathered in the central square, eager to witness the unveiling of what Amelia proudly named Ecolight. With bated breath, Amelia activated the device, expecting a symphony of lights to illuminate the square. Yet, to her horror, Ecolight sputtered and failed. The once enthusiastic crowd fell into a disappointed hush, and whispers of failure spread like wildfire. Amelia felt the weight of the town's disappointment on her shoulders. The once promising inventor had become the subject of pity and ridicule. Crestwood, a place where everyone knew everyone else's business, couldn't stop talking about Amelia's spectacular failure. But in the privacy of her workshop, far from the prying eyes and hushed whispers, Amelia refused to surrender to despair. Instead, she dove headfirst into analyzing the failure, fueled by a determination to turn this setback into a triumph. Late nights turned into early mornings as Amelia dissected Ecolight, scrutinizing every gear and wire. She sought guidance from experts, reached out to fellow inventors, and devoured every piece of information related to renewable energy. Failure, in her eyes, was not an end but a challenge to overcome. As weeks turned into months, a breakthrough emerged. Amelia discovered a minuscule flaw that had sabotaged Ecolite's performance. Undaunted, she rebuilt the device, incorporating the lessons learned from her initial failure. The revised invention, now aptly named Ecogenius, was a testament to perseverance and resilience. This time, Amelia approached the townsfolk with caution. The central square filled once again, but this time with a mix of curiosity and skepticism. As Ecogenius hummed to life, bathing the square in a warm, sustainable glow, Crestwood erupted into applause. Amelia's determination had not only redeemed her in the eyes of the townspeople, but had also transformed her into a local legend. Word of Amelia's success spread beyond Crestwood. Ecogenius garnered international acclaim and invitations to share her story and expertise poured in from around the world. The once humbled inventor now stood as a beacon of inspiration, proof that failure, when met with resilience and a thirst for improvement, could pave the way for unprecedented success. Amelia's journey from the depths of failure to the pinnacle of success became a cherished tale in Crestwood, passed down through generations as a reminder that dreams, no matter how tarnished, could always be polished to brilliance with unwavering determination and an unyielding spirit. And so, in the heart of Crestwood, the legacy of Amelia Granger and her ecogenius livid on, illuminating not only the town but the dreams of aspiring inventors around the world.